Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amor Gabar, back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash. Lord willing to edify and strength to the point. Answering a comment that I got on the comment board of the last video I did. This is recent, and this is from a. This is from a, a woman, an Israelite sister, a woman, all right? I ain't put, you know, I blocked out the name, whatever. Not that it really matter, but, you know, she's kind of incriminating herself with this comment, but whatever, nevertheless. Um, it says, Shalom, Mark, now I understand a woman. Let me read that again. Shalom, Mark, now I understand a woman is not supposed to leave her husband. But if it's getting to the point where the husband is asking their wife to carry weed in their purses while traveling on bus to get to go to another state, to go to the next state, not one time, but twice now and disrespectfully dangling nickel bags in her face like it is acceptable, which I don't smoke. All right now she's talking about herself, so now we know she's talking about herself. Says which I don't smoke, and that causes me to get out of character and out of order to defend myself after promising the Lord I would treat this man better. I don't know if I need to leave to keep my promise or stick around and let him continue to disrespect me. Need clarification. I believe he knows. I believe, she said. I believe she believes, and he knows about the truth. But yet, still, um, still, still, still do worldly things. Now, you know, a lot can be said about this. For one, um, for one, let me open up with a scripture before I even, um, before I even give my, you know, my, um, you know, spirituals two cents or whatever. This is Matthew chapter nineteen, and I'm gonna go straight to four. It says, and he answered and said unto th unto them. Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall a man leave his father, leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore the Most High have joined together, let no man put asunder. All right, so what the Most High put together, a husband and wife, man and woman, you become one flesh. And the scripture said, what the Most High put together, let no man, all right, not me, not any brother, not any elder apostle or anybody, not even Esau, okay, put asunder. That's between, you know, you and the Most High and yourself and your husband, so on and so forth. That's, that's number one. Let me say that, all right? That's number one because, you know, here it is. You know, here at Great Millstone, we teach that women... We teach complete order that women should be obedient to their husband, okay? You know, um, faithful to their husbands, you know, a husband, okay? I should say, you know, that's that's what we that's what we teach according to the scriptures, and that's what we condone. So I had to, I had to bring that out first because, you know, like like the scripture said, let no man put asunder what the Most High brought together. So you got with that man, you know, you know him, he knows you. You know, and, and that's that's ultimately between y'all two. But let's say let's say let's let's use common sense. All right, like I was talking to one of the elders, one of the big bros, the elders from um C T out there, um Elder I not. You know, we was talking and he, he pretty much, you know, straight up, which I agree, and you know, it's, it's common sense. Like some shit is just common sense. You know, some things are just common sense. And you know, it's common sense because here it is. You, you know, you're doing things, or women in general, I say women in general, women do things in general to know how to get a man. You know how to get a man. You know how to, you know, manipulate a man to get what you want or to even get him. But somehow it, it only works one way. You don't know how to manipulate a certain, a certain situation for righteousness sake to get out of a bad situation. You know what I'm saying? Show you that, you know, women, like the scriptures say, are the weaker vessel. You know, they know how to manipulate, you know, the certain situation, how to get a man, how to get him to do this, how to get that, that, that. 
but you just don't know how to manipulate in righteousness how to get out of a situation. And is that wicked? No. Because for one, think about um, Rebecca. All right, Rebecca um, helped um, helped Jacob to receive the blessing when Isaac was on the, on his deathbed. All right, we know we all know that story. And for one, it was already prophesied and ordained that um. Let me let me let me um. For one, it was already prophesied and ordained that that um. In the, in the book of Romans that the children not yet being born, all right, that Esau was going to be a servant to Jacob and Jacob was going to get the blessing. But Rebecca, she helped to fulfill that prophecy and she supplanted and manipulated the situation using deception or trickery to, 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 to help push that blessing. And you women, you, the, you women are the master of manipulation. You the master of deceivers, man. You know, I don't understand how you can't you know, deceive your way out of a, a a wicked situation to better put yourself in a righteous standpoint. Another example, you know, you um you got a you got a husband, all right? I'm gonna bring the scriptures out. I just wanna just kind of speak what I thought about this, but you um you got you got your husband, whatever. You in his you in his truth, all right? I was talking to another brother um about this too. Um, Zakar, me and Zakar had a conversation like this not too long ago either, but. You got a husband in his truth. You know, you you follow GMS, you follow Great Millstone, you believe this and that, that and this. But you got a husband that's that's a straight up nigga. He's wicked. Right? Now the scriptures say, the scriptures say that um let me get this and then I'm gonna continue my point. I don't like to go on just speaking without bringing out the scriptures. Um where where was it? Uh right here. First Corinthians seven and fourteen. It says, oh, I'll start 13. It says, and the woman which hath an husband that believe not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Okay, so if you got a, a woman, if you're a woman and your husband don't believe, and, and if he be pleased to dwell with you, let her not leave him. So you can't leave him. Okay? If he be pleased to dwell with you. Verse 14 is the reason why it says, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. So you, all right, or you women out there, all right, your belief can help sanctify and cause your husband to believe. But the thing about it too, she said that, she said that um, at the very bottom it says, and he knows about the truth, but yet, yet still do worldly things. So this this right here is is different because this man knows the truth, but he's doing wicked shit. Now, the Most High, if you don't repent, the Lord's going to judge him. All right, if he does not repent, the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, will judge him for knowing this truth, knowing he's an Israelite. You know, you an Israelite, you're supposed to be conducting yourself in righteousness. But then again, this man is doing worldly things such as transporting. You know, or have you transporting weight or dealing with that type of things? The Most High is going to judge him if he don't repent, and, and judgment could come in any form. The Most High could kill him. The Most High could just straight up kill him if he don't repent. You know, and 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 that would be your that would be your um that would be your, your your answer right there. What to do? Well, the Most High took your husband out because he didn't want to repent. You know what I'm saying? Now you you could pray for him. I say pray. You know, pray that the Most High. You know, uh, get you out that situation one way or another because you 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 will get caught up in that very situation right along with him. The Most High ain't playing games, man. The Most High is not playing games. The Lord is about to bring mass death upon this place. All right, and the scriptures say that judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel first. All right, judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel first. Okay. So, um, I got another precept. Oh, before I get that precept, the, the point I was making was you got, you got, you know, Israelite women that know it is true. They follow us, but their husband is wicked. Now, how far is the wickedness going to go? That's the question. How far is the wickedness going to go? Here it is. You're doing, you know, you're doing, you're doing this for your husband. How far is the wickedness going to go? You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I don't, I don't agree with, you know, women. Doing whatever her wicked ass husband tell her to do. 
I, I, I believe that you show the man the scriptures, show him the videos, whatever the case may be, and pray that he repent. You know what I'm saying? For one, this is what this is this is another example. Okay. Your husband is not in truth, he's wicked, but you you know you're an Israelite. But then he's into he's into having threesomes. You know what I'm saying? He's into having threesomes, you know, him and two women. And he wants you to get another woman so he could pop both of y'all. Are you gonna do it because you're trying to be submissive to your husband? That's wicked as all hell. The most high kill all y'all. You know what I'm saying? The most high kill all y'all. You know, use common sense. You know, like the elder Inap said, man, use common sense. Use your brain. You know, you you women, you choose, you pick and choose what situations you want to be in at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand that, you know, women are trying to do right. They're trying to do what's right. You know, you, you, you're doing this because you're trying to be right by him. So let me ask you this. If he asks you to just get you, a, to get him another wife, d d despite the threesome thing, if he just wanted another wife just to have, would you do that for him because you're trying to please the most high? Chances are no, you wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? So again, you women pick and choose what you want to do. You know what I mean? I mean, I'll say I would say I hate to get on you like that, but I gotta get on you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all women know. You know, this is your this is your world. This is your kingdom. You got, you know, this is Esau's kingdom. But he got you up, you know, on this thing, you know, this this pedestal and all this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Another example. This is why I was discussing with the brothers of car. Um a believing wife and an unbelieving husband. The nigga eat pork still, right? He eats pork, he eats shrimp, crab, lobster, and all this abominable shit. You know what I'm saying? And he wants you to cook it for him. You cooking it for him? Why, why are you cooking it for him? Now, what you what you what you what you should do is use your manipulative tactics and pretend like you're allergic to that shit. Every time you put on, you know, you put on some, or he tell you to put on some bacon, or if he tell you to go to the store and get some bacon. Man, say that listen they, they ran out of pork bacon I brought you turkey instead You know what I'm saying there Ain't nothing wicked about that man You know Or he forcing you to make some pork Or whatever Some pork chops Shit Fake 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 yourself that you You vomiting or some shit You know Fake a stomach ache You know Women can cry on the spot Like, like I'm saying that They know how to do shit Like they can cry on the spot to, to find themselves back in good graces of a man when they did some wicked shit. They know how to cry on the spot and make it make it seem like they innocent, this and that, that and this. Pretend pretend like you just got sick from fucking making pork. You know? The Lord knows your heart at the end of the day, and the Lord will, you know, uh get you out of a certain situation. Alright? Like the scriptures say in um Let me get this real quick. In Second Peter's Second Peter's two. Two and nine. It says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So the Most High knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. All right, you got to, you know, you should show forth effort that, listen, I'm not, I'm not into this kind of stuff anymore. You know, and I, I advise, you know, that, you know, you change, you know, your, your, your path, you know, speak, to, you know, hey, listen, that's your husband. Speak to each other one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I'm saying? Be real with each other. You know what I'm saying? Be real with each other. And again, that's between y'all two. But be, you know, speak to each other one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you know, this is going off according to the scripture. And what makes it even more uh, a thing is that this man knows, this man knows that he's an Israelite. All right, he knows that he's an Israelite. Um, James the fourth chapter. James the fourth chapter and the last verse, I believe. Yeah, it says seventeen. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So if you know to do good but you don't do it, you're sinning. You're going off. You're willingly going off, and the Most High again is going to judge you for doing so. All right. If your husband don't repent, he's going to judge him for that. All right? And, and you doing it right along with him, hey, repent for the Most High judge you too. All right? Repent before the Most High judge you at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Judgment is coming down. All right? This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And... 
chapter 5, verse 22. It says, abstain from all appearance of evil. Point blank, period. Abstain for, from all appearance of evil. Now, transporting, you know, uh, uh, weed, or it could be anything, coke, crack, you know, weapons, guns, you know, like, like the elder said, um, doing bank robberies. If your husband tell you, let's go do a bank robbery, you're going to do it? You know, you know damn well you're not going to do it. So what makes, my question is, what makes this any different? There is no difference. There is no difference. You pick and choose what you want to do. All right? All women, that's what they do. Women pick and choose what they want to do and what they don't want to do. Who they want to be with and who they don't want to be with. All right? At the end of the day. All right? We all know that. All right? Let me see what else I had. This is 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband, that if any obey not the word, they they also may be without the word one. Or, excuse me, but without the word be one by the conversation of the wives. So sit there, have a conversation with your husband, and let him know, listen, man, you know what I mean? This, this movement, this, this doing this weed thing back and forth, back and forth, and you know the truth. The Most High is going to kill us. Say it straight up. Most High can't kill us for this. You know, and if you don't want to take heed, then hey, the Most High may just take him out. You know, he may, he or he may, he may have him repent. I don't know. All right, but I'm just telling you what the Scripture is saying. Okay, let's read it again. Likewise, you wives be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may be without the word, be one by the conversation of the wife. So them not being that they don't have the word can be won by the conversation of the wives. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's your husband. You know what I'm saying? And and do as the scriptures say, you know, let them know, listen, you know, we can't be doing this. You know, scriptures say, First Thessalonians 5, to abstain from all appearances of evil. You know, you get caught, your ass is getting locked the hell up. You know what I'm saying? He get caught, he's getting locked the hell up. You know? So, hey, man, that's that. You know, like I said, like I, you know, like I mentioned, you know, women know how to manipulate a situation to get into it. To get what they want, get what they desire, and this and that and that and this. Use them same skills for righteousness, all right? Use them same skills for righteousness to get out of a, a bad situation that would land you, you know, uh, in, in, you know, in a in a slammer's or on the wrong side of the most high's judgment. You know what I'm saying? So again, you know, the scriptures say in Matthews that with the most high bring together, let no man put asunder, you know. And you women know that. You women stick around because they want to at the end of the day. You know, if I've seen comments, women talking about her husband beats her ass and this and that and that, what should she do? What the hell you think you should do? I'm not gonna tell you what to, what to do. What do you think you should do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You know, if you like getting your ass whooped, then continue to get your ass whooped. Some women like that kind of shit. Some women really like that kind of shit, you know? So I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You know, I'm just keeping it a buck, but Anyway, that's that's that, man. I hope and pray to you. How about Shemiah Shai? This was that a fine lesson to the elect of nation Israel. You know, and, and a few sisters that that watch and you in a situation like, you know, similar. You know, pray to the Lord. The Most High knows how to deliver the, the godly out of temptation, which that, that whole situation is you being tempted. Satan is tempting you to do things you're not supposed to be doing. So what are you going to do? Are you just gonna say, okay, you know, well, let's 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 just do it because that's my wicked ass husband, and he probably gonna die in the missiles anyway. Take the chip and blah blah blah, you know. Hey, pray on it, pray on it. The Most High want to see that you you bout it. You know what I'm saying? He want to see that you bout it. He want to see where your heart is at. You know what I mean? He's testing every each and every last one of us. And you women, you're not exempt either. You know, and if he don't make it, if he don't make it. Um, he don't repent. The Lord's gonna find a way to deliver you out of that temptation. And and if you if you are a, a, a sister that's destined to be saved, the Lord's gonna have you get with a, a Israelite man after after he's gone. And that's just what it is. So with that, I'm gonna end it. Lord wants to edifying to the elect and you, you know brothers out there that watch. You could post some some scriptures. I know many many scriptures could have came out. You know, so go right ahead. You know, until next time, I say shalom to the elect. Shalom.